The CDC is recommending we wear cloth face coverings, a mask, when we go out in busy public places. WFMY News 2's Adoria Chumba met some people around the triad who are making masks to help others. The CDC wants you to leave surgical N95 masks like this one for the healthcare professionals on the front line. Instead, the experts want you to wear homemade masks like this one. This is the elastic right here. And then we just sew, we sew all along the edges. To help with a supply of masks to fight coronavirus, 14-year-old Taylor Howley has traded in her basketball for a sewing machine. I really didn't think I was going to be making a bunch of masks and it just blew up and so my mom and my dad helped me a lot and sometimes I have like someone that comes and helps me sew them. The Davidson County teen has made 200 free masks so far. Some are going to hospitals. Um, we actually had an order to go to the probation officers and then we have hospice house and a nursing home. It means a lot that I'm helping and it makes me feel good as a person fits onto these little knobs on this. In a Rockingham machine. County library, librarians are making face shields with a 3D printer. Well, I made a prototype and um, took it over to my uh, director and uh, he said, great, make me another one, and I did. The county's health department <laughs> also uh, gave it a nod. I uh, got a call, email a little bit later and said, uh, we need 50 of them. So I've been in the mass producing business of making as many as I can. Right now we're up to, I believe, 16. And other triad communities too have teamed up to make more masks available to the public and many of them still need help. Now, if you'd like to help some of those groups, I'll have contact links on the story on our website, WFMYNews2.com.